I decided to share one of my favorite tips about making low-level gameplay fun and interesting. It's a simple trick and it's all about using trinkets in a creative way. So today for the vlog, I decided that I would share one of my favorite D&D tips. I learned this from the Bearded Bugbear. You can find him on Twitter and what a great DM he is. He introduced me to this idea, so 100% of the credit goes to him. I stole the idea from him immediately as soon as I learned it from him and I encourage you to do the same. Please take this idea and hopefully it will enhance your games as well. So here it is. In the player's handbook, there is a chart you can refer to where you can roll a d100 and that will provide a random item. These items are strange oddities. Things like a broken key or perhaps a, a an el ancient elven arrow, a mis mystical cube with colors on it or all these strange and weird things, glass eyeballs or it's just those strange oddities, right? These are oddities and they're meant to be. But that's it, they're just oddities, they're just strange items. So, the trick is to imbue those items with little bits of magic. Little minor magical enchantments or uh, powers, let's call them, that your party members, your players can use at low levels. At low level play, this is such a great way to spice things up. It absolutely enhances gameplay from my perspective, both from my experience and from what I've seen players that I've introduced this to, what they've done with these. So here's what you do. You take a trinket, you have your players roll randomly for the trinket, and there are actually other extended lists of trinkets. You can find them online. Those are great as well. You have your players roll randomly for a trinket. You don't tell them what it's for necessarily. They might guess, they might know, but you don't tell them what it's for. They roll randomly, you take that trinket, and then you tailor each trinket for each player. So, you take something that maybe they're okay at, maybe it's a skill, maybe it's an ability, or you take something from their backstory, if that makes sense, and then you just tweak it a little bit. I wanna give one great example because it makes it really plain and simple how I use this. And then I'm gonna share just something totally random that's like out of the blue, why, why this I think is fun and easy to do and how you can do it as well. First I'm gonna do the random one and then I'm actually gonna share an idea of what to do when you get to the higher levels because this works great at low levels, but I think it can work great at high levels too. First, the random, let's just come up with something. So let's say your player rolls on the chart and they come up with a broken pair of spectacles. Okay, a broken pair of spectacles. Then I'm gonna look at, well, maybe this character is a human or halfling and they don't actually have dark vision. So what if that broken pair of spectacles, the eyeglasses, what if they gave the character dark vision for an hour or maybe even just a minute or 30 minutes if you feel like an hour is too overpowered. It's not gonna break the game, right? This is this is simple, right? Here we go. So you have you have an an hour of dark vision each day, right? It resets each day. I the way I do it is it's a power they can use once per day. That's how I've started this out. So if I can if, I, if I'm a human and I found these strange glasses or they were handed down to me from someone in my family or what have you. However it comes to them is not really that important. It's interesting, but it's not important and you can let the players figure that out. Your job is to figure out what's cool about them and having a player who doesn't have dark vision is maybe not a spellcaster like a fighter that now has access to dark vision. Well, anytime they're in a situation, it's at night or they're underground or what have you, where they now have spectacles that they can put on and have dark vision for, again, you determine the amount of time. That's kind of cool, right? 
That's really cool. That I would love something like that for one of my characters. Here's another great example for one that I've actually, that was random. Th this one is one I've actually used. I'm not gonna give the details because I wanna sort of not spoil it for the players in the game, but this is just an example of how I tailor something. One of the players in the game, he, he's a scout, right? That's sort of who he was, that's his background. He decided he was a scout. And because he was a scout, he was sort of a stealthy, right? So what I decided to do was find a way to enhance his ability as a stealthy, sneaky scout. I, that was an easy one. There's lots of ways to do that. I re like for a bard, another example, for a bard, right? Bards like to be persuasive. They like to be intimidating. They like to be what have you. They like to use their charisma. Well, so give it to them. Give it to the player. Let them have a trinket that allows them once per day to gain advantage on a check. They know it ahead of time, they're, they decide they're gonna use it, and they, they now have advantage on, an, and it could be an important one. See, this is, a, this is a way where you can use advantage to give, you know, to give to your player that, that you don't have to remember all the time or you don't have to award it during the game. They just know once per day they can choose to have advantage on a roll. It's not going to break the game. It's just going to make the game a little more fun for that one character. Other ideas would be perhaps adding some little bits of like maybe elemental damage or force damage or something like that, again, to flavor, you know, flavor the game, to give the story a little more oomph and impact and power. So let's say another totally random, you have a water genasi in the party. What if they had a trinket that allowed them like once per day for maybe the next attack or maybe for the next minute or something, they could imbue their item with like like plus two water damage, ice damage, plus two, plus two cold damage or something like this. And it's that simple. It's again, it's not game breaking. They have to remember to use it and it can make the game a whole lot more fun. Yeah, okay, that's cool at low level. They've got some sweet magic item at first level, right? That they brought to the game as if, as if it was a, a hand-me-down from their family or something they found and on their way to becoming adventurers. I said I was gonna share how I would use this as a way to enhance every level of gameplay and what I intend to do. So our Agic group, they had trinkets that they've really not used that much. One thing is that they've had them and I want to encourage them to find some fun ways to use them. And I want to suggest as a way of making these, again, seem more interesting and more personal to the character, as they level up, maybe there's certain stages where you as the DM can then boost the power of them. For whatever reason, maybe there was some wild magic surge or maybe they were really close to some incredible elemental energy or something or some, they traveled through a teleportation device or portal or something. Something happened in the game, maybe, that supercharged all of the trinkets. So what was originally, what did we say, the glass, okay, was originally once per day for an hour, they can have dark vision. What about maybe at a higher level, once per day, in addition, uh, they can gain a minute of like true seeing. That would be super cool. Like they can see invisible creatures and that kind of thing. That's kind of cool. And that's actually can be really useful. Again, if they, fi if they fight a character creature that turns invisible and the character remembers that they have it, they can then choose to use it. And it's pretty situational, but it's pretty cool too. Uh, so that's, again, that might not be the best example. It's just an example. It's just random to give you an idea of how to do this. So th that's the trick for this Dean Daily here. I wanted to share one of the fun things that I love to do early on in the game. And again, I've seen my players periodically use these trinkets again when they remember in the situation and the situation's right and it seems to make the game just a little more fun a little more unique and exciting so check that out do it for yourself incorporate it into your game thank you for being here thank you to the new subscribers 
I realized I hit 199 subscribers before I started re, uh, recording this video today. That's amazing. I'm about to hit 200 subscribers here on the channel and I'm kind of beside myself. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Take a minute and watch this video next. I'm sure you will enjoy that as well. I'll see you at a table someday. Keep rolling 20s and remember, it's your game. Play your way.